What is going on, guys? It's Kevin here with Mod My Mods, and it is a lovely Tuesday afternoon. This first stream of the year uh, that we're actually doing of the Mod My Mods news update. The reason being, well, last Tuesday we were in Vegas. We didn't get a chance to actually, you know, get out and 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 well, I mean, we got to Vegas. We did our thing out there, which was fun. Um, but then. You know, while we were out there, uh, unfortunately, some of us got infected, which really sucks. Luckily, so far, knock on wood, I have not, which has been great. Um, and I like to keep it that way. So we'll see how it goes. Um, but today, what we were going to talk about is some uh, stuff that we saw during CES while we were out there uh, exposing ourselves to the elements and everyone else. Um, we're going to talk about some... Uh, things that uh, I talked with Thermal Take about yesterday. Uh, we'll also talk about Gigabyte and the tour that I got in their CES suite. So um, besides that, I think that's what we're going to do today. So come on down as we start this lovely adventure. Now watch this as this doesn't work because I forgot to select the right window. So let's see. Oh, yeah, totally forgot to select the right window. So let's let's see if I can fix this on the fly. That's right. You know, live video, live TV means that you need to be able to adapt, improvise, overcome, surpass, fix things quickly without anyone even knowing that anything is wrong. Right? See? Boom. Like that. Just that quickly. I just magic it up for y'all. All right, well, let's see what we got here. Uh, Gadget Joe, my bearded friend, how are you? I appreciate you for being here. Uh, I am feeling wonderful. Uh, you're out of isolation tomorrow. That's fantastic. 12 days kind of really sucks. That sucks terribly. Trust me, I understand. Um, here we have the quarantine rules that are five days. Um, so you have five days that you have to be quarantined and then uh if you're not showing any further symptoms you're allowed to go back and if your symptoms are you know improving and everything like that good to go so um however unfortunately the boss man uh ended up getting it and so did one of the other employees so we're distancing ourselves and making sure that we're safe and tests and all of that good happy or shit i just wish this would be over with now I know we're on like almost year, what is this, year three? We're on three? I don't even remember. You know, I, I think we're going to grow old and just be, I remember the days when you didn't have to wear a mask outside. You could actually touch the handrail and not get syphilis. You know, I don't know, whatever it might be. Um, so, uh, what are you going to do? You do our best, right? We do our best. We, we do everything that we can to make it right i don't know anyways i appreciate everybody for being here this afternoon uh again we're going to talk about some ces stuff because well uh that's what we did in vegas while we were gone uh that is basically what i want to share with you guys today because it's a news update uh if you guys missed it the past couple days because i've been locked up oh i don't have my shoot see if you miss the stream you don't get to see my locked up uh wipe but uh, if you go back in a couple days, I think on Twitch and on, on YouTube, we have some gaming footage of me just playing games uh, and doing the stream because, well, we've been in quarantine. So why not have fun with it while you're there, right? Um, so we'll talk about some CES stuff. We'll, if you if you haven't seen our other... What in the heck? Uh, if you haven't seen any of our other streams, the gaming streams and stuff like that, make sure you hit that subscribe button, that notification button, you know, like, share, subscribe, tweet... But you guys know that already. And I appreciate you guys for being here consistently on a on a on a weekly basis. Awesome. So without further ado, uh CES 2022. That was pretty bunk sauce. It was pretty sad. It made me cry a little. Um the reason being is because you didn't have the same atmosphere as you have had in the past. Uh manufacturers weren't there. Uh, the hallways, <laughs> funny, uh, Mr. Thermal Take Mike and I yesterday were on a meeting, we were talking, and he, uh, brought up a, a very, 
very true comment, true statement about how the hallways at CES, some of the iconic hallways there that are just jam packed with people or the Starbucks that just gets beat up by everybody or, you know, that wasn't the case. You could just go order coffee. Uh, walking through that section there was no big deal. There was nobody there. Um, so it's kind of sad. It's sad to see that. Um, but we still got a chance to go down there and at least say hello to them uh, and say hello to, uh, let's see, who did we see? We saw Inwin. We saw um, EK. Yeah. Good old Jake from EK. He was there loud and proud. And uh, Angela from Oris and... Oh, Landfest, the Landfest folks. So uh, what I was going to do today is share some photos with you guys, share some news, and we would talk about some stuff. So first and foremost, let's talk about the things that we did see, and then we'll talk about the things that we didn't see. How does that sound? Does that sound like a plan? Because I think, I think me sharing the photos that I have with you folks, if you guys haven't already seen these photos, I understand. If you have, I'll try and go relatively quickly through these, because again, we're going to just talk briefly about some of the the CES stuff that we saw while we were there. Um, the one thing I want to make sure that I have queued up for you, you guys, while I'm doing this here, just making sure you can see everything that I'm seeing, right? Because, right? Okay, cool, perfect. Here we go, and hiya. Okay, cool. So this is obviously my photo set from uh, our experience here. There are a few sets of photos. I just figure we'll go through them quick and we can take a look. Uh, this is uh, the Inwin display. And as you can see behind them, there are a lot of booths that are missing, which was kind of sad. Um, but Inwin had a couple cool new things that were on display. One of the new things, uh, these cases you've probably seen before, 309, 315 and the, uh, you know, the LED front panel board thing. Uh, but this is the N515, which is their new case that they just, well, not new, but the 515 is relatively new, and the N version of the 515 is pretty sweet. Um, the top actually will accommodate a 360 radiator. The front will do a 240. You can also put one on the bottom. And then uh, I think, if I'm correct, they come with a vertical, G or uh, not a vertical, but a, a GPU mount, so it'll help with the sag so we'll you know see what happens uh before we keep going i want to make sure that i say hello to blake thank you for being here travis as well thank you for being here and then gadget said uh yeah gadget joe says that he remembers seeing a kid when he was young uh in in public that had a mask on and he thought it was so bizarre and now it's just unreal when you see somebody that doesn't have one on right so uh travis is working with thermal take so that will be awesome. I'm excited. Keep me posted on what you're doing. Uh, the N515, again, is the in-win case that is on display. Uh, they're really going hard in the paint when it comes to this in the, 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 the whole, like, uh, infinity mirror thing. Uh, so they're doing the infinity mirror on their AIO now, which obviously, as you can see from here, looks a hell of a lot different and a lot better than my garbage ass cell phone camera however i did manage to get that logo clear so that you know win for me i guess um but yeah the front is kind of cool and it does have an rgb that goes all the way around so it's like it's it's a square that kind of goes around the rgb which is nice uh the around that panel so uh the one thing that he did tell me is that oh this is the other version the n127 which is again similar uh, one of their similar size cases, uh, but they ended up going with uh, a full glass side panel here. The front panel is just mesh. And then the tops on both of those PCs do not, they cannot be removed. Well, let's put it this way. They cannot be removed without force. And that's the business we're in. So uh, we're going to take a drill bit to some of those at some point. And uh, once we get our hands on these two particular cases, the N127 and the N125, or the 515, We'll drill out that top and see what we can do to make a make a cool little design or something like that. I don't know. That's like it's kind of what we do. We do like that whole design thing and like customize, you know, mod my thing. 
or something. I don't know, some name or something that keeps coming up. Uh, Inwin also has uh, PCI riser cables, which I didn't know, uh, which was kind of neat. I, I didn't know that they actually had them, um, but they also have it with a bracket. Now, the bracket is going to be probably universal to their cases and not to anyone else's. Because why? Well, because they don't care about anyone else's, just like every other manufacturer. It, it, if this isn't common knowledge I know, well, let's, let's spit it out here. Manufacturers that work with themselves are going to make things work for themselves. Manufacturers that work with other manufacturers don't. It's just that simple. On occasion, they do. And then when it does, it's usually one way or the other. It's going to be, you know, their hardware or their components or whatever it may be. But really what it comes down to is the in one bracket is going to work with the in one cases. Probably that's it. Now, can you make it work with other things? Of course. Of course. That whole mod thing again, it keeps coming back up. Uh, this is a PCI-4 riser cable, Gen 4. So make sure if you do get it and you have a Gen 5 PCI slot, make sure you set it to 4. Otherwise, you will get no display. In case you were wondering. Uh, also, Inwin makes white edition full modular power supplies. I, th I forgot who makes them. They told me, and I forgot. But yeah, no, I, I mean, they're decent power supplies. I didn't see the cables, though. That was the one thing I didn't get to see. Now, this little baby thing, I, I not I kind of like it. Um, now, I don't know how I'm going to get a graphics card in there. I don't know if you ever can. But I think this is a pretty sweet little solution for, like, an APU. Uh, or if you're making, like, a home theater PC type thing. Because look at these two little things. These little guys are awesome. You can set it straight, like, you know, obviously on flat on its, uh, on its face here. Uh, or you can have it upright, but I was kind of interested in the tops. You have these two different tops here that are made out of two different materials. Obviously, the one that's mesh, the one is wood. But it kind of got me thinking about the whole mod thing again. I, I know, unbelievable. Um, so, yeah, this is the inside of that little guy. Uh, it comes with, I think it's a 250 watt power supply. So, I mean, depending on what... Uh, what little all-in-one package you end up running, that actually might not be too bad. That might not be a bad way to go. Now, unfortunately, the only thing that I did see now, and, and it is, and it is all mostly mesh and like plastic, so it, it will really dissipate the heat pretty well, but I only saw one fan in the front, which is a 90 mil. Um, but depending on what, again, what your hardware is, it should be fine. But it's so cool. Little baby thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's such a baby little PC. Uh, Canon had this crazy display, but you had to sign up ahead of time, book an appointment, and all sorts of other things. So, nope, not doing that. Uh, Razer also had a bunch of streamers, tons of people. All their Razer crew was there. Who they are, I, I don't really know. I'm, I'm sorry. I probably should know. But I, I just don't know. I, I, I didn't really... I probably, again, probably should. But uh, they had their stuff on display, which was kind of cool. Uh, we couldn't actually go in there because they were streaming most of the time. So, thanks. Um, this was actually pretty sweet. Uh, this was, I have a photo of the actual name of the place, and we'll get to it in a second. But these are simulators that they have set up uh, that will actually do um, simulating in tandem. Uh, or you can fly them together, you can fly them as a pair, you can fly them against each other, whatever. Um, but they're actually certified by uh, military and FAA and stuff like that to actually get you hours, I think, on your particular type of license, whichever one that you're doing. Um, the cool part about these machines is that you're using legitimate stuff. So, like, that is the actual Thrustmaster Warhog uh, HOTAS. Same with that stick over there. Uh, all of these buttons and everything like that in this particular plane, this is exactly what it would look like when you pop those goggles on too. So, uh, again, really, really neat little setup. That's it. Precision Flight Controls Modular Flight Deck. Um, this is a Cessna. Obviously, they're flying Microsoft Flight Sim 2, but it is completely set up exactly how a uh, Cessna, I think it's a uh, 152 that they have set up. Um, but they're, they, they have it in a setup where you literally have these different racks that are rolling around and you just slap them together and the, uh, 
um, the teacher, the instructor, can actually add in different little objectives and uh, little uh, <laughs> problems along the way to keep you on your toes and everything like that. So very, very cool stuff. Um, and then this one was actually a portable trainer, which was pretty sweet. It literally comes in this box right here. Uh, and you can set them up again just like the uh, the same way. Um, they're tied together to the server rack and everything like that to get them to work together. But uh, again, everything that you're seeing in the uh, in the goggles is exactly how it would be in the plane. Uh, and when you reach down, you can actually see it happening, which is kind of cool. Uh, the other thing that they had on display was uh, haptic force feedback gloves and chest rigs, which was kind of cool. Um, the only thing that they really had on display was somebody doing DJing. So cool, guys, but you gotta give me a little bit more on that. Just, 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 just a little morsel, okay? Uh, GTR simulator, a simulator, I was looking at, they have a set of, uh, wheel and pedals, because everybody's into wheels and pedals and stuff like that. Uh, they also have a mount and a rig and everything that you can, uh, have for your simulating needs now that being said unfortunately this this steering wheel although it feels nice and does actually turn in a decent manner it is gear driven it is only sold as the steering wheel uh and then you can buy the pedals as well but you cannot buy one without the other you couldn't just buy the pedals which is kind of silly um but that being said uh, uh the other bit of fun little things that we saw in that one area now mind you that was in one and then there was razor and one the simulator and that's about it in that one hallway and then we started moving on to the next area because it was just it was desolate um but square off is one of the uh the chess boards that actually plays against you so it's the the next step between board games and computers i guess you could say uh magnetically the uh, chess pieces will actually move as you play uh so I could, obviously you're playing against the computer which is kind of cool i mean i don't know if i would buy one but i think they're pretty sweet and i mean to be honest with you i think that they weren't that expensive they were like 150 bucks or something and i think like the super nice booty boo one was like 250 so that that's nothing uh bugatti 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 uh had a display but they were really pushing electric scooters I'm not really sure why Bugatti is pushing electric scooters, but hey, man, you do you, because you made one of the fastest freaking cars in the world. How many radiators does a Bugatti have? Is it 16? All right, now I want to know. Yeah, in the Veyron. 10 radiators, that's what it was. Yeah, sure, there you go. 10 freaking radiators in that stupid thing. So... Okay, cool, cool. Uh, another thing that we saw at the Bosch display was actually this car that was in theory supposed to be one of the super eco cars and would, you know, have all of the the new fancy things. Uh, this was an electric powered turbo, which kind of, you know, I remember back in the 90s when they were like, get the tornado intake turbo system. And it was like, I don't know, 150 bucks or something. And all it was was like a fan that hooked into your intake and that so i don't know maybe, maybe. this kind of looked more like a surfing or surfing surfing track hall super jar jar thank you goodness words come out uh but again uh it was supposed to be one of the demonstrations of all of the collaboration with smart things everything's smart my uh this though i need to get I need to get one of me one of these. Uh, this is an electric bike. It is an electric mountain bike. The only problem that I have with it is that that front fork is hot trash city. Like, what are you doing with that thing? You've got like 100 millimeters of travel. What is that? And that is definitely like an inch and a half. Like, that's an that's not an inch and a half crown. There's no way that has that, that has got to be way bigger than that. That's no way. That's got to be like a two inch, right? So why wouldn't you just run a fat fork off of that? You get, I mean, you may maybe you don't need to get a a triple crown or anything like that, but you, you're just like a 
single one like a set 170 mil and then have it adjustable to 140 i don't know maybe i'm just that's just me i uh, joe like this one though this is more of the utility bike uh the remy demi as they call it um but again one of the electric bikes i think they're saying they did like 35 35 miles an hour something like that uh aktvs cool 120 inch tv cool uh let's see sony playstation 5s that were fake that's cool <laughs> they're plastic <laughs> i mean i understand why you don't want anybody taking one but it's still kind of fine uh let's see what we got travis prefers the reactive touch panels instead of the uh the elect the magnetic moving parts uh to play D D with because they're like super interactive i i totally understand um our dm uses a surface and a couple other things to play D D with so uh gadget joe do not fancy paying for service on one of those though <laughs> google bugatti <laughs> service costs and let's see what it does bugatti service costs that is actually Uh, let's just let's do it in the UK just to fancy. Oh, about a hundred thousand. How about a hundred thousand dollars to service it? But but what is service? I I know the word. I'm not not an idiot. But like, w what do you mean? Like, okay, you're gonna flush the ten radiators. Okay, cool. All right, that's fluid. Fine. I guess if it even runs fluid like that it probably runs dex cool no it can't no way it's got to run something stupid right what yeah what well, radiator fluid to use in a bugatti varen you use the bugatti coolant why not apparently you can get the bugatti varen coolant from <laughs> all right anyways i'm sorry this is getting off course off course here what coolant does the bugatti Varen use yeah what kind of coolant does it use oh boom there it is but, I mean, well, he says press down, but who who the hell actually knows? Uh, it says Castrol manager, whatever. This is just a forum post. Who cares? All I know is that's pretty funny. They change the oil, they change the fluids, all the seals out and gaskets. Do you got to do all the gaskets on that thing? No, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> More than my house to service. <laughs> All right, uh, so more things that we saw at CES. Uh, again, uh, this drone was pretty nuts. Uh, this guy was over here giving this this uh, other gentleman a demonstration. As we hit the corner, this drone just like immediately snaps and locks eyes with me. I'm like, whoa, whoa. stop. I'm trying to keep my clothes on. I'm like, stop, stop. But no, what happened is as I continue walking around the corner, the thing continues to look at me and follows me around. And it's not like he was controlling it. He just tapped on my forehead and it gave me the big rectacle, you know, right around my freaking head. And it was just like, yep, I'm going to follow him now. Like, Holy cow. On top of that, uh, it's actually an IR camera, too. So there's Corey. There's Big Kevin. Unbelievable. Kind of cool. Pretty neat. There were all sorts of crazy drones, all sorts of uh, crazy bikes. Uh, this is one of the small case manufacturers that we were talking to. I always screw up this name. I'm looking for it. Where is it? Go back. Blue Jour, right? Blue Jour, Blue Jour. That's right. I remember now. Uh, so these cases are actually like little baby cases. They're super small. Um, but this red one here is actually full size and will support an, uh, an ITX and a full size graphics card, which is kind of cool um but these were also on display they were mostly made for the nook units but they were they also have been developed 
uh, to accommodate a couple of the other boards and stuff like that. Uh, this was Iceberg Thermal. Um, yeah, they had some coolers and stuff. That one was a monster. There were Teslas everywhere. Like, everywhere. All over. <laughs> Are we in parallel dimensions already? I feel like we've lived this already. Jonathan, you know what, sir? I was trying to go through and at least show some of the people that if they haven't been here for the past couple days with our gaming streams, the news update, which is the first news update of the year. You know, if you could help, why don't you send me something? Send me something and I'll share your stuff if you, you know, want to contribute. Love you, buddy. I appreciate you being here. Um... Again, we went through uh, all of this uh, the the past couple days when we were doing our live stream, but I figured I would share it with you guys. Um, uh, this truck here, the semi, which again I brought up the point of this is aluminum. I wouldn't want it to rust, but whatever. Uh, this truck actually has um, a drone that attaches to the back of it and had a whole bunch of different attachments, but basically out of the back of this thing. Oh yeah, sweet drone, gone. So yeah, that's kind of cool. I don't know. Uh, these are little baby cars. They're electric. They do 55. I don't know if I'd want to do 55 in this tiny little thing. Um, but they do. Uh, these were also uh, electric as well. This Jeep was all decked out. Super electric. Uh, and then DS Automobiles had their race car on display as well. Uh, and then we got a chance to go to the HyperX uh, Arena, which is in the Luxor, which is kind of cool. It's kind of neat. Kind of cool to see everything. Good old Landfest folks. They're awesome. We appreciate them. Uh, this was a cool little uh, display. Chandelier, actually, as you were walking into the, uh, into the arena. It's kind of neat. Kind of neat. Good old swag from our friends over at Viper. And then uh, we popped over to EK to see some of the lovely things that they had on display, which was pretty cool. Uh, Kalen's build wasn't set up entirely yet, so I didn't get a chance to actually show any of the good photos of that just yet. But I will be posting them shortly. Uh, yes, uh, the velocity blocks. I know you guys probably haven't seen some of those, uh, but these velocity two blocks look pretty sweet. Where is that? Some six straight bend. Yeah, dude, no bends required, just straight shots. Plug and play. Uh, anyways, the Oris Extreme Water Force, the new one. Well, let me tell you, they brought back leak detection. Yes! I They brought back leak detection, which is great. Um, and the rings around the thingies are, yeah, well, anyways, uh, so the board does look pretty cool. I do like how sleek it is. It does kind of have a different look to it. I do like that. I, I, I am impressed. That's pretty sweet. Uh, this particular one obviously didn't have, uh, all of the things, uh, all of the, uh, pieces, so I couldn't take all of it apart. Uh, however... I, I do think that that's, I mean, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad. I do like it. I'm just very sad that they brought back leak detection. It is a USB-C now in the top corner, which is kind of cool. So you can plug it in directly right there. Kaboom! And then you don't have to worry about the, just kind of, shh. No, you can't. That's the thing, Jonathan. That's what I was just saying. If you look, this, uh, we already went through this, dog. Weren't you? Didn't you write down notes? Like, where are your notes, Mister Lightwood? It doesn't seem like you're prepared for class today. You know, I, I, I am. <laughs> so you, the, the USB C uh, is actually right there, which is plumbed right into the, the water block itself. Again, pretty cool. But again, uh, if you were in. The Cosmopolitan, go to the second floor, right by the chandelier, crazy chandelier, the the one that's in Sex and the City and in a whole bunch of different other movies. That one I know. 
anyways, uh, you go up the escalator, you hang a right, you look over to the left, Egg Slut is right there, okay? And then you look over to the right in du District Donut Sliders and Brew. Let me tell you. So good. How good? Yes, amazing. It was, it was so good. So the board comes in a donut box. You know what, Jonathan? I don't, I don't appreciate this. No, it's the first stream you're coming in here. No, I appreciate it. It's awesome. Uh, these are just some of the cool photos that I took while I was there. Um, I got a chance to set up our PC, obviously the one that we put together with uh, Asus and or or hey, Jesus, one of the other A ones, Asus, and Be Quiet, and Team Group, and AMD. Okay, wow. And actually, Game has helped out too. Um, so uh, this is a. Uh, the daytime pictures that I ended up taking. And, um, yeah, again, there's some other ones too. I don't know if you have any car fans that are in here. Some McLaren. In case you didn't know what that was. Uh, the Bellagio is pretty nice. But there you go. Boom. Look at that. Look at that. And I see we got the tower in the back. I mean, like, wow. Wow. Um, but again, yeah, we put that, uh, put that together with Be Quiet and Asus for PDX Land. And we decided, well, why not bring a PC with us? And a big shout out to uh, Jacqueline over at GameDS who was able to help us out with this awesome Hermes 3. This is the M3? M3, yeah. Um, we were working on keycaps for this thing. She made those. Those are actually custom keycaps. Yeah, yeah, custom. Why? Because mods. Dog, right? All right, so um, on top of that, view wasn't too bad. Uh, we also cooked a bunch of meat with our good friend Kyle. Kyle was amazing. He is an incredible host and always, as always, uh, gives us a good time. Some delicious meats and uh, some uh, awesome adventures, that's for sure. So, that being said, now now that we're, we're done with that, I can talk about the things that we, we haven't talked about yet. Jonathan. Did you talk to Thermal Take? They tell you about the new products that are coming out? Huh? Did they? Did they? Did they? No, I'm just kidding. Um, so I talked to Go Mikey over there. I don't know if I can call him Mikey. Mike over at the Thermal Take yesterday. And we talked about uh, the products that were going to be on display for CES. I didn't I honestly get a chance to watch any of the keynotes or anything like that. Uh, and um, But that being said, no, oh, three, three times. <laughs> Shell bag. Yeah, I got so. Yeah, all right. Good. Good. See, that's what I'm hoping for. That's what I want to have happen. I want you guys to be like, yeah, dude, I talked to him yesterday. See? See? So I was on the site. I was trying to find some, some of the expo stuff. And I'm like, all right, cool. Well, where do I go to find the expo stuff? Like, where is, where, where, are, where done, dear, be all the products? How can I do the things with the things and the products and things? Like, all right, well, it went to, let's go over here. Let's go to this, whatever mod, your mod, mod, your mod, my mod. No, that's mod, my mods. Anyways, um, so they have like the chassis, the memory, the gaming chair, and the power supply. But that's not like what the, that didn't even make sense because, well, I want to see the products. Like these are the new products, right? Like. Where's, where's the tower 500 and where's the, the new water block and where's this and where, <sighs> anyway, anyways, so if you go over, you can take a look at the USA mod your way and they are really, really coming up with these gold. Like these colors are pretty sweet. If you don't know anything about these colors, um, they're trying to do kind of like the car colors, right? Those custom car colors, racing red. There's a reason it's racing red, racing green. There's a reason it's racing green, turquoise and the gold. Uh, if you know anything about European cars or anything like that, that's some of their prime colors. Um, now, that being said, that's kind of why they're they're going and pushing in this direction, because look at that. I got a, oh, cool. You can go to your chassis and turn it green. And then you can go to your memory and turn those green. And then you can go to your chair and turn it green. And then you can go to your power supply and it's not green. But you could try. But you could make it white. And then you go back here and you're like, sick. Check out my chassis, dude. It's all green. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, so they are trying to, to push that, and I think that's an awesome idea, especially with the custom car colors and everything that are coming up. So um, let's see. Let me see, because you see Jonathan started talking now that now that I now that I said something. <laughs> uh, Thermotank dropped me like a bad smell team because I enjoy working with them, but they just hey, you know what's funny about that, Joe? That's kind of what happened at Orsony. Like we I went to how, I don't know how many shows. That's how we met Jonathan. That's how we met a lot of you guys actually, and then we just got I don't know dropped like a bad habit. So. But hey, whatever, man. Right? So that's why you got to rekindle the flame. You know, sometimes sometimes it just goes out and you just need to put in a little effort. Right? Uh, the new upgrade with the trio fans is on point. Yes, you are absolutely right. I am so stoked. I am so stoked. Uh, they dropped fans, an AIO, a chassis, a distro, and more. Just leave the US, <laughs> the US store. The colors are partnered with Porsche. See? I was talking about European stuff. Boom. There it is. Shell back tech. Gives you an option either to use it with the reverse blade or the normal. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the fans are going to be pretty dope. Um, did they show those on the on the stream at all? Do you guys know? Because the fans are freaking sick. John, the thin, since you said yes, can you send me a link? Do you know where those are? Where can I find that? Because I was trying to find it the whole freaking time, and I'm like, what? Oh, right there. Right there. The Ring Trio Transformed Rad Fan. And the Square RGB Fan. Yeah, dude, the Square RGB Fan. Have you seen them when you lay them down? Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, I didn't. Oh, RGB. I didn't know you could do that to me. Wow, it's been a long time. Maybe we need to rekindle the flame. Right? So these RGB fans, yes, they are Ring Trios. Um... They do come with the crazy cool software. But on top of that, they're actually talking about having a fan blade that you just pop out uh, if you're doing a push-pull configuration and then pop in the other blade. And as you can see, the blades are oriented in two different directions. So if you don't like the ugly-ass backside of your fan, because then you can just pop that, send it. Done. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And I really do like the tough fan RGB and the fan itself. I mean, although it's, I mean, let's be honest. I think we've all seen that style fan before. I, I, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that because that is a. <laughs> Jonathan said it. I didn't. But yeah, that's exactly what you did. You know, RGB'd one of those, which is, but those are sweet. Those are great fans. They're fan. Uh, they're, <laughs> they're they're fantastic. I know. I've been in quarantine too long. I'm sorry. All right. Anyways, uh, square fans look so much cleaner. I know technically fans are squares for mounting, but there's still useful space with no ugly mounting points. Yeah, I know, right? You don't get the little corner ear things anymore. They get the little hole things. I don't know. They don't rip off the design. They're all from similar OEMs and get sold variations to each company. Well, yeah, of course. No, no, I know that. I know it's not a rip off design. I'm 100% aware of that. Yeah. Nah, you're right, though. Because I appreciate you bringing that up. Because a lot of, maybe some of our viewers don't actually know that. Like, a lot of the stuff made anywhere all comes from the same place. All of it. All of it. All it. Now, that being said, there's variations to all of it. Every single one is different. However, they still might come from the same place. Just going to say it that way. I think that's the easiest way to put it without getting people upset because it's not really... You know, it's not like meant in an offensive way. It's just honesty. Once you realize that, hey, all of the components that you got a phone, you got a phone. Yeah, guess what? That stuff came from overseas. You think it was made here? You think it was made where you live? <laughs> yeah. Well, unless you live overseas, more in the side of the earth where, you know, 
all of these chips come from, then obviously you have a little bit more of an advantage because it's right there. But that being said, these are fantastic fans. I cannot wait to screw around with these things. Like these square fans look so cool. I have like so many ideas of how I want to mount those and put them places. Right? Um, the only thing that I was a little concernicist about, right? DJ Concernicist? Uh, the only thing that I was a little slightly kind of sort of worried about uh, was the fact that these, like, what is the square? Obviously, that's going to be plexi, right? Okay, so when you mount it through there, how, like, is there going to be a little bit of squishy? ness on the screw so you don't mar up all that plastic because i mean even if you make it thick or whatever and you use a screw you're still probably going to go and just you know or whatever you, you know so that, that's kind of why i'm like i'm a little worried about that but to be honest with you you just get like a, one of the insulated uh washers you'd be fine you'd be, be more than fine uh all right let's see shellback yeah my favorite is watching oems on linked advertise on linkedin then seeing someone's components slightly change come out from one of our favorite two brands two months later yeah 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 that happens it's generally hard nowadays to produce a product that is truly unique everything has been done it's a case of trying to implement and improve now but people will always call copycat to companies i just like that there's more varieties yeah, absolutely. I mean, a thermal takes RGB. I'm sorry, is the probably one of the best. I people will fight me on that. I'm not saying the software is perfect. No, 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 no. Don't please, please understand. Their software is glitchy as shit. The you got to find the right version for whatever motherboard and whatever the hell else you got running in there and everything like that. But their actual LEDs and the lights and everything like that do just work with everything. I, there's no debating it, you know. Uh, that that's, that's how I have most of my lights in uh, my PC. It's literally thermal take strips and then adapt it, convert it to the RGB thing, and then boom, you plug it into your Aquara or you plug it into your. Uh, I actually use my Faber Work thirty or three hundred and sixty three hundred and sixty Faber Work, but. I, I, I can't say enough about that. That's for sure. Last uh, unique one I saw was recently was the fluid guys that dropped the tri-point water block. Hey, you know what's funny about that, Travis? We work with those guys. The Flux guys. Yeah, they're actually a pretty cool, group, uh, pretty cool group of guys. We were supposed to meet them over at CES uh, this year, but we didn't get a chance to. Um, their improvement on that triple slot or the triple port RGB or the triple port block for the different chips is just nuts. It's crazy how much cooling that actually improves. It's it's insane. It really is. So <laughs> yeah, the flow on it is nuts. It is nuts to watch. It is. Uh, Teffin, does anyone know of an open source USB addressable RGB controller? Yes, there are a couple that are out there on the market. I honestly don't remember them right off the top of my head. However, the problem is with the open source stuff, you really got to do a lot of fin finicking, mess around with it and, and code it and dick with it. Uh, now, if you have the time and the effort and want to do that, yeah, absolutely. Let me see if I can find you some links and I will send them your way. Um, the other thing that uh, they had going on for Thermal Take in the Expo, uh, the P Core P6 collection. Okay, you got another P-series. That's cool. Yeah, the back or the front, they now have a distro plate for the front. So the whole thing is a front distro plate, not just the radiator shroud thing. Okay, that's cool. It's still a P-series. Yeah, whatever. Mount it on the wall or go home. That's that's how I feel about it. Um, oh, wait, the one thing I do want to talk about, though. Hey, have you... Those feet, they, they finally made feet that don't look like crap, which is cool. But they also did take that from somewhere so um it's a great design it's a great implement and i like the way that it sits too just i don't know if it ain't broke I, well i know i don't know they just didn't like the duck feet that they had on them so uh yeah speaking of 
funny enough, speaking of the Mickey Mouse block, where is it? There it is. It's right there. I wish they had more photos of that. Because the Mickey Mouse block is cool. Uh, it has an LED screen inside of it. The ports come out of the bottom of it, which is kind of funky doodle sauce. Which, now that I'm thinking about that, how do you mount it? Oh, Instagram. He says Instagram. Go, go to Instagram. All right, fine, man. Sorry. Sorry. Which one? Which one? N.A.? Or global. Oh, I definitely global. Who who am I kidding? All right, who who we got? Yeah, there's your fans. What was I looking for again? Damn, now I don't remember. Oh, the Mickey Mouse block. That wasn't released on CES, was it? The Mickey Mouse block was released on CES. Just go down to the chassis hmm. oh, I wonder if it's in here is that what you mean in like one of the tower click chassis and then scroll where what do you mean click chassis is 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 Am I a tard waffle? What's going on here? What do you mean? <laughs> Click that chassis and then screw, scroll up from here. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. Thank you. There's the, the power supplies. The RAM. The new fans. Yep, they got them in white now. And then there's the RGB fans. Yeah, you 404. You ain't kidding. The coolers. Show me the Mickey Mouse. I mean, that doesn't look bad. That looks like a, a YouTube Play button award. Uh, I'm sorry, that's kind of funny. Um, all right, so this is another thing that they're doing. Is this this is a just a screen, I think, right? If if this is what I understand, this can be mounted on a 120 anywhere, right? And has gauges, and you just I think you just plug it in. I think you just plug it in. And then it just works. And I think it plugs in via USB. Which, unfortunately, they need to figure something out with the USB. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. I do kind of like it. But what I'm trying to find is the stupid Mickey Mouse block. That's USB 2. And they're working on hub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, here's the chair. We like the chair, the chair, and the stuff, and the headset. The new Arjun H5 headset looks pretty dope, though. I do want one of those. Um, but, you know, Travis, I'm still not seeing this Mickey Mouse block. I know you said that it was in here. There's the chairs, which is cool. There's your Saddle Brown. There's your Sangna. Sangna. Got the dang Sangna yellow by Porsche. There you go. And then they have the, the little baby cases. But the Tower 500, which is pretty sweet. I love it. I think it's cool. Overpriced. How much is one of these things? Anyone know? I don't think anyone even knows. Wait, you can actually... Can you order one? No way. Really? I don't believe you. Yeah, you can't order a Tower 500. What the hell is this guy told you? Oh, it's overpriced. Do you even know what the price is? Uh, I mean... Yeah, they have both of them there. So Tower 500 just doesn't... Uh, 
the 900 is $300, which is acceptable because it's a huge mini fridge. But yeah, it does look like they took it down because that thing is sweet. I want one. That thing is cool as hell. Uh, that's the Tower 100, but you know what I mean. The, that uh, Instagram, god darn it. That one, that's what I mean. Well, there it is. There it is. So, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. And then they're doing uh, the the water-cooled memory. And this is the screen module that they have that goes on their memory now. Um, they're also doing the, the screen thingy on everything, just like everyone. So, oh, it's in the 15-minute video? Yeah, no, I'm all set then. I'll wait. But there's a Mickey Mouse block. It literally looks like a Mickey Mouse, and it has an LED screen. It's kind of cool. But those were some of the cool things that we did see from Thermal Take during CES 2022 that Mike and I got a chance to talk about. And obviously, you got the cool uh, the Argent E700 awesome chair, and then the Expo, the uh, the Divider 550 TG Thermal Ultra Chassis. Blah. Yeah, okay, so there's that. There it is. I just want to share those suit fat boy like me. I'm still using the same. I mean, hey, get it, uh, the lazy boy, man. Lazy boy. Teffen just asked. Cross between Ergo and lazy boy. Lazy boy. <laughs> so. All right. So there's thermal take. We're done with them. That's the Tower 500. It is freaking cool looking. I like it a lot. It's just me. That's kind of cool. Anyways, Oris. Oh, God. Speaking of cases. Did you guys get to see this thing? The C... C-700? Um... I... I... Um... Well, what's your take on these folks? <laughs> uh... Wait, do you really have a whiteout going on right now? Is it snowing like hell there, Travis? All right, so this PC... Let's just talk quickly about it. I understand. I get where they were going with it. They were trying to do like some torque case type of thing, right? They're trying to do the Antec torque thing. Listen, Antec torque, they did it. It's done. It's over. Move on. Move past, okay? You want to make something? This is super plasticky, by the way. Um, I know that the build that they had on display, they had to throw together and everything like that, but they had new RGB fans that way they wanted to show off. They had the LCD screen that was in the power supply that they wanted to show off, and then they had their AIO. Yeah, that build right there, pretty much. Okay. Ah. There are so many drive bays in this thing, I don't under... Right. Yeah. This thing is a pain to build in. I would I would not want to build in one of those, to be perfectly honest with you. Could you make it into something cool? Yes, absolutely. I don't know if I would want to. Moving on. Um they Angela did make a joke. Okay. She takes it in really, really good spirits because she's she's had to deal with a lot of crap because of the whole power supply thing. And she made a joke about it, though. So she's taking it with, uh, lightly, right? And uh, we talked about the 1,200-watt power supply and how it was nominated for CES 2022. <laughs> Travis just took the words out of my mouth before I could even say it. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. 
Blake says someone needs to make a universal 42 rack mount or 42 U rack mount coolant distribution rail at a reasonable cost. Ooh. I mean, I bet you Gigabyte could probably do it. Depending. But to be honest with you, I probably wouldn't. I don't know if I would want to. But I mean, you definitely could. I'm sure somebody could. But yes, Travis, that's kind of what I was thinking. I was like, wow, congratulations, Oris. You, you know, Gigabyte, you got the power supplies. Right. Um, the other thing that they were talking about was these new Aero and Asus laptops, which aren't really new, but they were like, oh, the Aero ones are, they're the new versions, blah, blah, blah. And they're, you know, 360 hertz and they're, they're small. Oh, what's the one? They said there was one that was like a 16 inch. It was just between 17 and 15. Like, okay. Okay. 16 inch. That's, that's cool. Powerful, portable, six hours battery life or whatever and then it gets to the arrow version and this is really where i was like oh, okay it's like the business the business class right the cool part that i i thought i liked really was this the the connect all with the USB C, which is kind of cool because like you plug the USB C in and boom there's a whole little thing that just adds on to the side and you get an hdmi display port and all this other stuff so that's pretty sweet Unfortunately, I'm not going to sell it separately. That kind of stinks. But I know everybody's all about laptops now. So. Gaming on the go, guys. Gaming on the go. Anyways, uh, let me read some of this chat here. Uh, I was extremely excited when the uh, raw gear that they had dropped this year. Yeah, yeah. The, the, uh, like the backpacks and stuff like that. Absolutely. I agree. Um, I do like the vision line that Gigabyte does as well. I would agree. Uh, Oris works nicely with sponsoring motors, but regardless, I don't often care for some of the Gigabyte products. You know, that's... I think that's probably well said. I, yeah, yeah. I do love the vision line, though. That does, that does look pretty good. Uh, did you guys hear that Microsoft bought Activision today? Do you know what that means? Yeah, no, Activision, like Blizzard. Yeah, they bought them. Yoink. Mine. Fucking Microsoft buying everything. Anyways, the cool part is, is that means that World of Warcraft and Candy Crush can now invade your Xbox and your and your PC. Not that it already doesn't already. So Yeah, alright, now that we're done with that. Uh, anyways, last thing. N515 pretty cool they call it the nebula the nebula that's what the, the inside is again pretty sweet looking little case i like it it's got a quick button release of the glass panel when you push that button it just falls right out no i'm just kidding i have no idea i don't think that that's true but i do like the 515 uh let's see here uh, their RGB software was horrible for years. Do they finally have better software or only works the, the latest mobile or anything? No. No. No, as far as I know. I, unless... Uh, can can somebody uh, tell me if they have updated the RGB software for Oris? I'm too scared to install any other version of it because I got the RGB working just perfectly, so now I don't. I don't ever touch it ever again. Nope. It works fine. Just let it sit. Um, but I'm pretty sure RGB Fusion still sucks as bad as it did before. I don't think they're ever going to change that. Not until all of the manufacturers come together and they say, yeah, let's make it one that's universal. Or somebody actually takes the, takes the pony and actually makes it themselves meshify all yeah all right so that is pretty much what i got for you today that's pretty much it what do you guys got today mod <laughs> more of it 
I they so the new RGB is going to be well the new RGB the new RGB software that that people are trying to develop is supposed to be less taxing and less you know demanding on the hardware because there's no reason that a, a, a that in RGB controllers that's just it's so stupid I'm done with it and to be honest with you if you want an RGB controller that works you use Aqua Suite hands down that's it have you guys seen aqua seat i've seen how amazing this thing is because it's i mean it's it's like the best thing since sliced bread do, do you want me to show you i show you i show you everything all right so once this loads yeah i don't i don't yeah whatever do it later um what I have in here right now is I have a D5 and yes, I just have the D5 Quadro in here, um, which is pretty cool. The RGBPX. Oh, well, won't let me do a whole heck of a lot, but I can at least show you a couple things. And the way that I can show you a couple things uh, is just because of the uh, abilities that we have to just mess with things inside the software now that's actually not going to change anything over on my side but um aqua suite work with generic argb led strips yes a year um there is an adapter that they have it's a rgbpx to let's go to the site i've been here before once or twice um they sell like these water cooling parts hold on Hmm, where is it? There it is. And of course, we don't have them right now. Um, but yes, there is an adapter right here. Boom, you'll be able to plug into one of the RGBPX adapters uh, into your actual RGB strip, and it will work. Now, that being said, you have to just make sure that the pinout is the correct way, which pretty much all digital RGB is the same. So uh, that should work just nicely. I think they support up to... What we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six LED strips, I think. Uh, that's what I have hooked up. That's actually what you can see over my shoulder here is uh, I'm running a Quadro. Um, and that has the uh, the RGBPX plugged into those LED strips. And uh, those are all just daisy chained together using one of the RGBPX controllers, which is kind of cool, right? So you have four, uh, depending on which RGB uh, hub that you get from this awesome website here, all right? You can just like, I think, is it the hub? In here, there's the Alpha Cool controller for, or not Alpha Cool, but Aqua Computer uh, RGBPX controller. A lot of the Aqua Computer stuff actually comes with the RGBPX built in. So, um, yeah, thanks for joining us, Jonathan. I appreciate it. Appreciate you being here, man. Um, but yeah, you can just adapt anything straight to that, and then it will pop up, and you'll see it. Actually, I mean, you won't actually see it, but in this particular case, you can see it because the pump is actually got an LED controller built into it. Right, so it has its own separate LED controller, um, and what you can do is, I mean, the the modes are nuts, man. Like you can really do a lot of really really cool stuff with this particular RGB software. However, you do have to pay for it. You have to pay for a subscription because, uh, I mean, the amount of crap that actually is capable of Aqua Computer Aqua Suite is unbelievable. Like. It's nuts, and it's all uh, written in Python, so depending on how uh, tech-savvy you are and how code-savvy you are, you can make it do whatever the hell you want to. You know, what are you going to do? But in here, you can make it do whatever you'd like, and now that I actually am thinking about that, uh, I do want to change the color, and I want the background to be 
purple because everything is mostly purple in my so what what ended up happening is that the the background obviously the purple color is the only thing that's actually changing inside um, and I have green and I have pink so we'll do pink and we'll say okay and what we'll do is we'll slow this down go like here increase the width a little there we go there we go boom that's it and what you can do is you can tell it to do like a circular so it continues to yep it wraps around which is what I was thinking um, and the lighting and the brightness and all of that other stuff you can also add in so like we have this one LED controller which is LED controller 7 you can add in another LED controller on top of that oh yeah oh yeah I didn't think I was telling the truth yeah check this out so now I also have a rainbow LED that's going on underneath it on top of the color swipe yeah sick right so uh, this one actually worth it um, in the re I 100% agree that software companies should not pay, you know, charge you monthly. I would love to just give them here's my here's I don't even care if it's 60 bucks or $90 for that matter. Yeah, here's my $90. Want to know why? Yeah, because my pump right here. Here's all of the readouts just from the pump. Yeah, you want to change the target temperature? You want to change the power preset to have the output power at 100%, which is usually what I have it at. But you can change it. You want the water temperature to be this particular thing? Sure, fine. And then the minimum power, the maximum power, whatever. Ooh, see the alarm's going off because I turned it off. You probably can hear that. See? You can have it set up with the curve controller. You can have it set up with the flow. You can have it, you can just, you can do so much stuff with this one simple program. It's just it's unbelievable and then you can also tie in all sorts of sensors it will also talk to hw info it will talk to any of the other monitoring systems you can you can do so much crap and then these are the different displays that you have on that pump as well so you want rgb software that works that's it right here aqua sweet it's tricky it's annoying this is actually 15 leds so if you don't extend it to 60, it's not going to go all 60. Yeah, crazy, right? Why isn't the Quadro? Oh, the Quadro must not be plugged in. So the Quadro that's running the RGB software up there is actually plugged into this PC. But I apparently don't have the USB plugged in. I must have changed, unplugged it somewhere. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. Shellback, uh, are we going to discuss the sale? It's a sad state of affairs when it comes to multiboards doing rear-facing cable connections now. I don't want to talk about it. You mean when the cables come off the side and you don't see the cables anymore? Is that what you mean? Like the new Oris motherboard where all the cables are coming off the side and they don't with the side-facing cables. Or are you talking about the ones that are like trying to plug it into the back? Because that seems silly, too. Both of those seem silly. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. They were... Uh, forgot where I saw that. But yes, I did see that, too. I wasn't really thrilled about it. So I honestly just got... just Whatever. That's <laughs> what happens in my brain. You know, okay, well, that doesn't seem... That seems... Sure, it's cleaner, but then you get rid of cables. And why the hell would you put the connector on the back? Yeah, stop changing things. Exactly. Yeah, just, just leave it. It's fine. So, all right. Well, that is it for today. Hopefully, you guys had a uh, wonderful afternoon. Teffin, no problem. I am happy to help you out uh, with any of the RGB questions. And I honestly, I'm willing to help anybody out whenever you guys need any sort of, uh, assistance or anything like that. I would be more than happy to help you out because that's what we do. Help me help you help us, right? We all want to grow. We all want to expand our knowledge. We all want to get better at the things that we do, including the mods that we do and the builds that we do. So knowledge is power and that's what we intend to do is spread that knowledge so 
Again, a big thank you to Neil, a good friend of mine down in New York City, Neil Francisco, with the awesome beats this evening. Hopefully you guys were able to dig out of the snow if you guys got hit by this crazy snowstorm. We had 20, almost 20 inches in about a day and a half. It's pretty crazy. Travis, I know you're a well-seasoned vet and a well-seasoned snow vet as well. Um, so hopefully, uh, hopefully the snow dies down up there. But if you guys haven't dug out, I would uh, highly, highly recommend doing it sometime soon. So... Uh, until next week, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the week. If uh, you got any questions, complaints, concerns, uh, feedback, thoughts, ideas for the show, let me know. I'd be happy to do it, and we'll see what we can do to put it on on the next one that we do. Have yourself a rest, great rest of the week. Stay safe out there. Stay warm out there. And we'll catch up with you next time. See you later.